Today we're going to look at the Wrexham FC fan zone and the confusion surrounding ticket purchases where some fans had to pay an additional £10 for a fan zone ticket. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney are considering buying a share in a Cardiff-based cricket club and in transfer news, are Wrexham FC eyeing up new strikers? The fan zone is currently being built behind the temporary stand on Crispin Lane. Yesterday, as members joined an online queue for tickets, it soon became apparent that some blocks had been designated as fan zone tickets only. It's possible the seats directly behind the goal are the fan zone allocation. This explains why the club were confident in moving ahead to build the fan zone as they knew they could fill the allocation. This leaves fans who are unable to purchase a regular seat with a choice between seeing the game by paying an additional £10 or missing it. In times where money is tight, this will be a painful decision for some. Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney may be purchasing a share in a Cardiff-based cricket club called Welsh Fire. The Telegraph newspaper claims that they have held talks with the ECB about buying a cricket franchise in the 100. Teams from cities across England and Wales take part in a 100-ball cricket tournament which is run by the England and Wales Cricket Board. If successful, it will see them putting their hands in their pockets to the tune of £20 million if they wish to have a 49% stake. Manchester United's Glazer family and Birmingham City's Tom Brady are already dubbed as potential investors as well. Finally, will we see the HP printer printing out a striker name before the start of the season? Rumours are that Wrexham are ready to slug it out with other League One clubs, including Bolton and Birmingham City, for Luton forward John McAtee. He played on loan for Barnsley last season, scored 12 goals and had 5 assists. According to Bolton News, Wanderers have already made two significant bids for McAtee this week. A few days ago we mentioned Spurs striker Will Lankshire, but with Wrexham being in the USA this week, taking part in the Rex Coast Tour, I'm not certain we will hear anything substantial until the team returns home. I will do a more in-depth look at the two players if they sign for us. As we all know, some of the names revealed by the Think Tank printer have come as a surprise to everyone during the transfer window. Thanks for watching. As always, please leave any comments below. And have a great day.